Alaric I, was the first king of Visigoths, and a Gothic military commander who is famous for sacking Rome, an event that eventually triggered fall of Roman Empire. Alaric began his career under the Gothic soldier, and later joined the Roman army. Once an ally of Rome under the Roman Emperor Theodosius, Alaric helped defeat the Franks and other allies. Despite losing many thousands of his men, he received little recognition from Rome, and left the Roman army disappointed. After the death of Theodosius, and the disintegration of the Roman armies, he is described as king of the Visigoths. Alaric was born in a noble Goth family, of Pius Island in modern-day Romania. His family belonged to Turbingian branch of Goths. While he was a child, Alaric's tribe had conflicts with the Huns, and was forced to migrate into Roman territory, after setbacks against Hun. For centuries the people of Rome lived comfortably behind the walls of their city. The empire was continually expanding under capable military commanders, kept the dreaded barbarians safely away from the city. Unfortunately, the supremacy of Rome began to decline, when the empire was split into two, and the power base gradually moved to Constantinople. Alaric received his military training in the Roman army, and commanded the Gothic allies alongside the Romans. He fought alongside the Romans at the Battle of River Frigidus, a battle waged between the Eastern Emperor Theodosius I, and the Western Emperor Eugenius. Shortly after the death of Theodosius, Roman Emperor was again divided. Alaric's nemesis, Flavius Stilicho became regent, for the former emperor's sons Arcadius and Honorius. Arcadius became emperor for the Eastern Roman Empire, while Honorius eventually assumed the throne of Western Roman country. Stilicho clashed with Alaric, and the conflict signed for a treaty between the Romans and the Goths after the Gothic War, which allowed them to settle in the Balkans as allies, not citizens. In an attempt to force a rewrite of the treaty, Alaric and his army took advantage of the growing tension between the East and West, and ransacked cities throughout the Balkans, invading Italy. He demanded grain for his people, and recognition as citizens of the Empire, as well as his appointment in the Roman army. Stilicho refused the demands. An attempt was made for compromise, through his agent Jovius, Stilicho listened to Alaric's demand for legal rights to their land, with annual payments of gold and grain. In return, Alaric was to assist Stilicho to invade the East, he had already secured himself in the west, and with the help of Alaric, he would attack the east, dethroning Arcadius. In 408 AD, Western Roman Emperor Flavius Honorius, ordered mass executions of families of Gothic soldiers, under the suspicion that, they were conspiring to join hands with Alaric. Thousands of women and children were killed by Roman soldiers. As a result, more than 30,000 Gothic soldiers defected, and joined the Alaric's army. The Gothic army sacked the cities of Aquilae, Concordia, Altinum, Bononia, Arminium and Picenum, however avoided Ravenna, the capital of the Western Empire. Instead, Alaric set his sights on Rome, surrounding all 13 gates of the city, within weeks Alaric sacked the city streets. The siege ended after he reached an agreement with Romans. However, this truce was short-lived, and Alaric besieged the city again for the final time. Alaric took Honorius's sister Galla Placidia as hostage, asking for an annual payment of gold and grain, as well as the provinces of Venetia, Norcium and Dalmatia. Alaric forces sacked the city for three days. Goths were respectful with the inhabitants of the city, and treated them kindly. After sacking Rome, Alaric and his army headed to North Africa. His fleet was destroyed in a storm and many of his men died. Shortly after, Alaric also fell ill, and died in Cosenza, in modern-day southern Italy. He was buried under the riverbed of Bussento River. Athulf assumed control of the army, eventually leading the Goths into Gaul.